So yeah, I've been avoiding making this video for a while because my plan was to make this video while I'm actually using it, but I guess I'm still kind of scared to get injured right now. So I still haven't returned to the gym. It's been like a month or two. But this is my home gym, right? As they call it on the YouTube, home gym reveal or something like that, you know? Not much, you know, it's a bitch, you feel me? I got like some gym mats or whatever, protect the floor. Got some dumbbells, free weights, right? Got a barbell, curling bar. Got some weights too, you know. Got some 2.5s, some 5s, some 10s. What else I got? I know I got some 25s, yeah. And uh, for my dumbbells, you know, I got 20, 35, 50. This bench is adjustable, it's movable, it's foldable. You know, I also got a yoga mat back there, but I've been had that. You know, so this is my little home gym setup, you know. I like it. I enjoyed using it when I was using it. I was hitting it every day for like two weeks. I might have taken like a day or two break in there, but you know, it went well, you know. I put my little speaker back there, or I use my headphones. I got a I got a headphone rack right there, you know. Or I also sometimes use my um my Bluetooth uh you call sound bar speaker over there. Put the music on, just go to work. Is it necessary? No. But I always try and do something for my ketoversary. And I said, you know, this space right here, I don't use it. I barely use my living room. So, might as well bring the gym to the home. In case I don't feel like going to the gym 2 a.m., 3 a.m., like I normally go. I just get out of my bed, put on my gear, go to work right here. I have this shower when I'm done, go back to bed. It's very easy. So, there it goes. Um... But yeah, when I injured myself, I was lifting those. Um, I think I was doing like tricep pull down sort of sort of deal, but with free weights. Um, and I just strained my right shoulder. Strained my right shoulder. It hurt it. I was sad. I was like, you know, maybe like two days, and this thing will, you know, feel okay again. And it just didn't happen that way, you feel me? Um, how long did it take? It took like two weeks. But sometimes after something heals, I like to give it an extra. So let's say two and a half weeks. And then when I was going to go lift again, I had already got back into eating. So I never got back into it. Because when I lift, I like to have a good eating a good diet. I like my diet to be very consistent, planned out, so that I get max results from the lifting, max growth. And I burn fat, build muscle, and lose weight at the same time. That's what I was going for, bigger, leaner, stronger type of program. But for some reason, it's still not meant to be. I tried it last year too. Got injured, my foot. But I know ultimately, this will be what I adapt. And if I have to if I have to work out through injuries, just like not utilizing that body part that's injured, I could, but then I would have to go to a real gym. Because the only thing I could have done is work on my legs when my when my shoulder got injured. Because almost everything goes through my arms, upper body, you know, using weights. So that's the only thing I could have did was work out on my legs. I didn't feel like doing that. But yeah, I'm happy to have this set up. And, and it's kind of cool because, you know, I got the TV right here in front of me. So sometimes I'll be like, during my little, because, you know, I've been trying different strategies for losing, for lifting weights. I've been lifting weights since I was like 14, you know, on and off, of course. And um, one of the new things I heard about was like resting, like resting between sets. Something that I really don't like to do. But I was reading something that pretty much said the longer you rest, the better. Not rest like go to sleep. 
or anything like that. But like, you know, take two minutes to five minutes between the set. Between the rep, sorry, between the rep. Yeah, between the set, you know, you could do whatever. But so I was trying that out. I come here, I, you know, I play a little game, looking at my watch, get back on it. And it's pretty cool, you know. One of the benefits of having a home gym, you pretty much do whatever you want, no judgment. <laughs> and, you know, I have a mirror that I could put, like, right back there, you know, standing mirror. It's always nice to look at yourself when you're lifting. So, I mean, I have one. I have two actually, and I could always move it when I'm done. So I might be doing something like that. So, you know, I would say the space is pretty built out. It's pretty ready. I kind of like it the way it is because you see all these mats. I could take them out as you can see, you know, you can easily take those out. I could easily take all this out. I could fold this bench up, hide it if I wanted to and make this look like a, a regular living room. Probably, of course, wouldn't touch that part, but the rest of it, yeah. But I've been thinking about it, like I could also remove this back furniture, you know, get rid of that, have a little bit more space to do a little bit more, put a little bit more stuff in here. But it remains to be seen. I have to wait till I heal up. Sorry, I have to wait till I, I lose some weight. I feel like lifting again. I feel energetic. And I feel like it's safe to live, you know? So, be coming soon, you know? So